So this is the argument that I would make. Premise one, there are a set of ancient non-biblical books that have been reliably preserved to the present day. So we think of philosophers like Plato and Aristotle, historians like Tacitus and Herodotus, poets like Homer or Cicero. And we would say that if you read Homer or Plato or Herodotus today, what you are reading is essentially what they wrote. You, you, we have that general assumption in, Scot in academia and among common people. When we read these works, that's what was originally written. Well, Council of Trent, there's a bit of a flaw in that argument. Not only do we not know for sure that we have accurate replications of the original work in the case of the authors you listed, but in a few of them, we know for a fact that we don't. We know Aristotle wrote a series of dialogues that have since been completely lost, and that his original writings included diagrams drawn by the man himself, which were later not copied by scribes. As for Homer, we don't actually have any reason to believe that the copies we have now of the Illilid and the Odyssey represent what Homer wrote, because Homer didn't write anything? Homer's work was passed down orally originally, and many historians have long held that Homer was completely blind. But even if you mean that we know for a fact that modern copies of Homer's stories are replicas of what was originally told, again, no we don't! It's actually widely believed that Homer changed both of his stories a little bit each time he told them. These two examples clearly show that, to be blunt, no, we're not certain of that. And these were two examples you gave, by the way. So if you're claiming our current editions of the Bible are as accurate as our current editions of these works, well, Trent, that doesn't make the point you think it does.